Hey guys, uh, quick recap today. Uh, some good, some bad. Some good is that I'm green. Some bad is that I overtraded and fell victim to the emotion that is holding me back as a trader. Uh, other good news is that I actually figured out what that emotion is and can finally pinpoint where I do it, where everything hits the fan, and where I completely screw up and turn little red days into big red days because we know from my old P&Ls over here, oh yeah, you can't see this, uh, that when I have red days, they're huge. Like I, I don't have a $100 red day or a $200 red day. So I finally, after four months, uh, figured out why I do that. So I'm really, really happy about that, but I'm, I'm not happy that it just, it took the flick of a switch for me to uh, to do it, but now that I recognize it, at least I can work on it, and that's all I can ask for, right? So, uh, where are we here? So, let's go over some of the trades first. Uh, I accidentally took a pre-market trade on DCIX for a hundred shares. I honestly didn't mean to buy in right there. I, I must have pressed Shift One. I think I was testing it. I, I don't, I don't know what the hell I did. So I just sold out of it. It was only a hundred shares, six dollar loss, whatever. Uh, so we were watching FTFT for it to break the pre-market highs. So I was looking in to buy at this level of resistance on the level two of 242. There's a there's 12,000 shares, 10,000 at 242. So as it breaks 242, I'm in. We're already up to in the 60s. I take 200 shares. I have 100 shares left. Put them up. I get filled here. You can see at 60 and 67. For an average of about a 20 cent winner, that is awesome. If I was using 10,000 shares, that'd be two grand. Doesn't matter. I'm not even close to that point. Uh, and of course, liquidity is it would be an issue at that point. But anyways, happy with that trade. Uh, I followed my plan, executed it well. I didn't get greedy. I sold into the 200 moving average resistance. Great trade. Um, so the same kind of thing happened here. So after that, it got slammed back down, right? So let's remember this. It didn't continue higher after the first candle. It just got slammed right back down. Uh, AMDA made a little move without me, over 370. So I didn't chase it, didn't chase it. Uh, QUMU was looking like FTFT pre-market. So I was going to get in. I should have gotten in when I saw this bid pop up. Or at least... Anyways, I tried to get in for the same idea. The break of pre-market highs sell into the into the squeeze, right? So instead of doing that, I thought that, okay, the next one minute candle to make a new high would be a good entry. I'm not going to chase it and buy it in here. I'm just going to wait until we see a new high of like 270. So that worked. I'm in, I'm out. I, I want to reduce my risk. I would just want to, I want to get in and out. So the second time I tried to do this, it didn't work. So in a strong market, we're over the 200 moving average here. We're in a nice window from, <clears throat> uh, what is this? 250 or 260 all the way up towards $3. So in a strong market, this would go right to $3, like right to $3. And we've been seeing some stocks move like this. So over the highs here, once it breaks 275, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I know it's just about to do it. 275. Uh, I was I was just, just a fraction of a second late and I got filled at 86. Um, and I knew right away that I was wrong. So the crucial point here is that I tried to put my shares up. I didn't get filled. I should have bailed out for a 10 cent loss and lost $30 on the name or even right now and lost uh, 30 or $40 on the name. But instead I held on and the longer you hold on, the more you open yourself up to risk. So I wasn't following my strategy here by holding on. Uh, and then I averaged down. I went from 300 to 900 shares to reduce my average. There's absolutely no excuse for doing that. 
not only am I in trader rehab and should only take 300 shares, um, averaging down is, is all like, it should be a no, no, never, no excuse. Don't care if you finish green and made a thousand dollars. It it just shouldn't, it just shouldn't happen. So, uh, yeah, I averaged down. That was not good. Um, and then that turned a, where, like, where's my trading platform here? So that turned a, uh, what could have been a 40, 50, 60, whatever dollar loss into a much, much, much bigger loss. So that is where it all changed. That is where I started taking bigger size. Um, I, I had another couple losers, acceptable losers, but with bigger size. Um, and then, you know, I, I eventually had my, my winner with a thousand shares on NCTY. Um, I bought in for the first one minute candle to make a new high right here. Uh, where's my entry? NCTY at $2 and I'm selling at $260. Uh, two dollars here. Let me let me turn that music down a little bit. Uh, two sixty. So I was sold out of this halt when I maybe I should have held on, but it was looking really really weak here until it eventually did squeeze through. So that would have been on three hundred shares. That would have maybe been a two or three hundred or the two hundred dollar winner, even three hundred dollars, and it would have made up for the loss if I had taken it at the right time on QUMU. So this could have been, like I said, a $50 loss, even if it was a $100 loss with slippage or something. The uh, NCTY gain would have still made up for it if it was two or $300. So I'm actually really happy that I finally figured out what is holding me back and it's the, the averaging down and not taking a loss. So after my winning streak, after my winning streak here, you know, the first red day, I, I desperately tried to make it back up. Um, and that, that caused me to, to go further in the hole, further in the hole. So the focus for the rest of this trader rehab, of course, is to continue to take 300 shares um, and just and just really focus in on, on being able to take a loss, take a small loss, reevaluate, and maybe the market will give you another opportunity, like it did on NCTY, to to take uh, another trade and and make it back. So I'm not the point that I took a thousand shares on on this. I that is besides the point. What caused it? was my inability to handle taking a loss. So from here on out, I'm gonna work on that. Thankfully, I got to finish the day green. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, we'll see you tomorrow.